Carnival Diablo TV. Well, here we are. You're probably wondering what I'm sitting with and who I'm sitting with. Well, this, my friends, is Professor Lindsay Lambert. And Lindsay has something from the future here today. Something that makes pictures from what he tells me, but I think that he can explain it better than I. And so, please, Mr. Or should I say, Professor Lambert, tell me, what is this machine? This is a magic lantern. This is a magic lantern. Yes. Have uh, we tried it? No, I, I, I've tried. It, it uh, doesn't produce a genie. Uh, I wish it did. Now, uh, what, it, what it is, is that a magic lantern is a slide projector, uh, but a rather an old one. It uses large glass slides. There's one right there. That's large. Yeah. And it dates, this particular magic lantern dates from 1906. It's called the Iron Duke. It's made by the London Optical Firm of W. Butcher and Sons. I like the first name. But it's, uh, but it, it projects uh, the pictures. It's a slide projector. And the, the magic lantern was a very popular entertainment at the latter uh, uh, half of the 19th century. Now, Lindsay. We know for a fact that there was no electricity in the 19th century, so how would they make this project light? A correction! There was electricity in the 19th century, but it was the late 19th century, and Lindsay is going to tell me exactly what that means. Well, for, for domestic household lighting, you had carbon filament lamps, which weren't particularly bright. You couldn't use them for projection. Like you couldn't put a projection lamp until 1912 with the invention of tungsten filament lamps, but you could use arc lamps. The, uh, actually, the first, or one of the first uh, cinema presentations in Canada was in Ottawa at West End Park. And they used an Edison vitascope, and they had to draw on two separate electrical supplies. They had to draw, draw on the household current uh, to operate the motors, that was, uh, that was alternating current, and then they had to tap into the streetcar lines, which was direct current. The streetcar lines! In order to operate the arc line. <laughs> but it was fairly complicated. <laughs> That's astounding. Now you see, that shows us right there that it wasn't easy to run any kind of electrical appliance in the late 19th century. And so this, of course, used what he had said before, which was limelight or kerosene or Highly explosive materials that I enjoy. Right, right. And there it is. Okay, this one was originally sold with a, a four-wick kerosene lamp called a Stocks patent, or more paraffin, because it's British. That's a British term. You could also use acetylene or limelight. And with limelight, you have a cylinder of lime, which is burnt limestone, calcium yes, oxide, heated to incandescence with an oxyhydrogen flame. It glows like a Coleman lamp mantle or gas mantle, only more so. But it was used in the magic lanterns and, and cinema projectors before electricity, and also it was the first uh, uh, first used in, uh, in spotlights in the theater, which is where the metaphor being in the limelight comes from. And don't we love that? <laughs> now then, now when you actually have this with you, I know for a fact that you put on a show. But this isn't your grandma and grandpa slideshow. It's actually something a little more whimsical, a little more interesting, as it were. Tell us a little bit about what you do when you actually show your slides. Okay. Uh, my slides date anywhere between about 1860 and 1910. Uh, many of them are still slides, and I show how the lantern was used, how it was received by people. I give my people a little snapshot. Of, uh, of what they may have looked like uh, a century ago. But the, the end of the show is where the magic comes in. Like one thing that people do not realize is slides move. Yes. There are different moving elements in it. You can make a dog jump through a hoop, uh, make the sails on a windmill revolve. Uh, generally, uh, little, uh, little comic scenes or, uh, or you know, comic changes or, or interesting scenery. And you're being humble, Lindsay, because I know for a fact you also sing during uh, the show. Yes, I have, a, I have a repertoire of old British music hall songs, and I, and I sing with that. I make my own sound effects, uh, both with, uh, with implements like whistles and, uh, 
uh, and bells, and uh, I, I also make music with my mouth. It sounds like my morning alarm. I like it. This is wonderful. Have you ever sat this close to a dead person before? Not a, uh, not frequently. I, I do walk with ghosts, though. Ah, <laughs> well, you're in good company. And that's why I do this. My friends, this man is Lindsay Lambert. He is truly an astounding human being, for he keeps the magic lantern alive. Lindsay, thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to your show. Thank you. I look forward to giving it. Ooh, thank you.